we're going to add some fish to this tank today. These are uh, Martensi butterfly fish. Uh, we're going to acclimate them by allowing some of the water from the tank to enter into the bucket, which is where the fish are at. And over the course of the service, which is about an hour long, that will allow them the chance to adjust or acclimate uh, to the customer's water which is important because if there's a big difference in temperature, salinity, pH, those can all be stressful issues. And stress is the biggest killer of fish. We were told in advance that one of the fluorescent bulbs had burned out, so we've brought a replacement bulb along. This lighting system consists of two 48-inch, 40-watt fluorescent bulbs. The electrical connection is made at the ends of the bulbs in the form of a rubber end cap. The bulbs are standard aquarium-related bulbs and not off-the-shelf hardware store bulbs. These bulbs are designed to enhance the colors of the fish. will readily take care of that, but I'm not going to bleach the corals here. I've learned my lesson more than once, actually twice, that you don't bleach at the customer's location because chances are you're not going to get the bleach out of there and you're taking a big chance by putting those corals with bleach back into the tank. many types of algae. Uh, this tank has now developed what we're going to call hair algae, which in a sense looks like green hair. 
In a fish only tank, it's not really a problem. It's just an aesthetic issue. And we'll see if we can get that cleaned up today. Two ways of dealing with the algae. Pad on a stick and hand pad. Obviously, I'm going to use this for the tough to reach spots and the high spots. And this I'm going to use to reach way down low where I can't really get to. The top of the tank is just as important as the front or the back or the bottom of the tank. Because your job is to clean the whole tank. Thank you.